fucked up everything. Marriages. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Right. At first, your bitch used to just see the niggas at work, <laughs> you, and that's it. And come home. <laughs> All right, y'all seen that first clip I put in the very beginning of the video? Today we're talking about Boosie. Say what you want about Boosie, but regardless, at the end of the day, he's always going to speak his opinion about anything. However he feels, he has no filter. And that's one thing I appreciate about, appreciate most about him. When we're living in a cancel culture and a time where people are scared to just say how they really feel, it's like this weird dynamic where people can't just be 100% and completely honest. Because everybody's answering a question like it's a, a test. And everybody's waiting for them to say the one thing like, oh, you can't say that. But let's get into what Boosie said. So basically his whole little rant was basically him just breaking down why he feels as if social media has destroyed relationships and people in general. Okay. You heard me? For when you don't act right. And she hypnotized by all the other bitches. The bitches getting shit on Instagram. That she ain't getting. So all that time you didn't put in with no money? It fucked up everything. It fucked up you too. All you had to look at was your side bitches. Your bitches at work. Your bitch at home and come back. That's all we had. That's all we had. It's a couple side bitches from the other side of town. Now so his main point was basically how he feels you go on Instagram you see a fine ass chick you with your girl you not as satisfied with your girl as you are seeing these really attractive females on Instagram Twitter whatever it may be your girl may look on, Inst on Instagram and Twitter and see a guy that's more balling than you he got more money more cars just flexing and it always puts that thought in the back of your head like of temptation temptation to where it's almost irresistible like you open these apps and you're always seeing these people living this life that's more lavish and better than yours at least that's what you perceive when you're on the app but when it comes down to it a lot of that stuff is how many pictures did they take before they got to that singular picture before they got to that one picture that they were both post they probably took 50 to 100 pictures siphon through it and pick the best moment the best picture a lot of the cars may be leased, rented, who knows. A lot of this social media problem that leads to a lot of depression, anxiety, is flexing. People get on the gram, not to just show how they're feeling. Some people do, but they want to show that they're better than people. Their egos get involved. That's why there's so many content creators now. It's not, very, it's not a, a real barrier to become a content creator, whether that's YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok really broke the barrier because you can make a minute video and blow up. And that really opened the door for everybody to be like, well, I want to cook. I want to do mukbangs. I want to vlog. I want to do fitness. IG thought, whatever you want your career to be is not a big barrier to get into that. And because of that, it's raised like this ego to where as soon as you get one like, you get that little dopamine hit to where you feel like you're already a celebrity and people get addicted to that. Now, the other side is people that live a pretty modest life and they log on to these apps websites and they slowly decline because they see how good or better these other people's lives are comparative to theirs and it brings them a deep sadness and it's very sad because people get on they're like well, let's say a female for example she gets on dang she got a BBL her ass look better than mine I'm fat Keep scrolling with another girl. BBL looks better. And it just, it, it it's like you're giving yourself small doses of depression by comparing yourselves to these people that really aren't real. And it happens to everybody. Like, you may see, I, I'm 23. So whenever I go on the app and I see somebody that's also 23, that's already a millionaire, I'm like, damn, I'm slacking. I'm, grind I'm, not, I'm not grinding as hard as I need to be to get where I want to go. And I use it as more of motivation, but to some people, it discourages them. It makes them feel useless. And it makes them reflect on their own lives in a negative sense instead of flipping it. I know life's all about perspective, so I never get down to that extent. But it definitely has a negative effect on people, individuals. And I can definitely see how that has a correlation with relationships as well. 
the temptation is there. You you dating like let's say your girl's a, a medium, she's a five maybe, like she's moderately attractive. You go on, you see all these fine ass chicks and like all these bikini pictures on IG. It really makes you just think, damn, I'd rather be with her. That that's always gonna be in the back of your head, no matter what. And what Boosie was saying with the girl, she see a, a nigga that's doing better than you, she like, damn, I'm with a sucker ass dude. And a lot of the times, a lot of that's just a facade. It's fictitious. It's a fallacy. It's not a real glimpse of how those people are living, how they're really feeling. They only show you that small percentage of what they want you to see. That's why when these scandals come out and stuff like that, is they blow it up to such a big proportions because everybody puts on this like try to make this perfect image that is impossible to create. So I definitely agree with Boosie on how social media ruin relationships. And also how people view others. Because everybody's putting so much pressure on themselves when they're going to these apps and they're looking at how good other people are doing. They also see people in regular day to day. They put that negative lens on people to make it easier to judge other people for not being what they expect them to be. You know? And that's something I think we all struggle with. But at the end of the day, you need to be able to look in the mirror and correct your own flaws and mistakes and become a better person every day and evolve. So, to what Boosie said, I 100% agree that social media definitely has been destroying a lot of relationships and making these fake little trends and making people get in relationships and get out with different hopes and not understanding what it is to really bond and create with somebody. And it's sad, but that's the future we're heading towards. Like, um, I don't think I could date a girl that just wants to do TikTok trends, you know? Like something something cute she said on TikTok just like comes to me. Hey, I really want to try this. No, I, I ain't that dude. I don't want to do that. That's that's a waste of time to me. Like, what is the ROI on doing that with you? You know, just so you get likes and you get that little dopamine hit. It's not for me. I'm sorry. Don't let social media destroy y'all. That's the video today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Help your boy. We're trying to get to 300 subscribers. We just hit 200. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace. Boop.